Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, welcome. Uh, something a little bit different. Uh, Simon's going down a different route on his builds. Uh, this is the M1132 Striker ESV. I think that stands for Engineer Support Vehicle. Uh, that's what it is. It's a W slash LWMR Mine Roller and SOB. I wonder what the SOB stands for. Uh, it's got to stand for, I think it's a blade of some shape or size because I think this has got the option of the blade on the other side. So this is a mine roller. I like the artwork. That's what attracted it, attracted me to it. I thought I've got to build it. I'm going to have it. This trumpeter is in 135th scale. Uh, not a great deal on the outside of the box. They're just showing you. Oh, the SA, SOB is the blade, and the LWMR is the mine roller. Uh, just a few options. It's quite a large box as well. Uh, I was quite surprised when it turned up. So we'll take the lid off. And inside we got destructions in a pamphlet form, which I like. Mind you, I do like Trumpeter. Trumpeter is one of my favourite kit makers. Uh, and we'll go through that in a minute. We have a colour guide. One with the blade on the front of it and the other with the mine roller. I am going for the mine roller. And there's plenty of plastic. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Sprues. We have some uh, photo edge. We also have tyres. We have some decals, decals, transfers, or stickers. We also have, by the look of it, some ration boxes. Oh, and we've got more in here. We've got a small sprue with some small bits on, clear parts. And we've got the lower and upper hole. Right, what I shall do now is I'll sort this lot out. I'll put you on pause. I'll sort this lot out. We'll have a look at the destructions and then we'll have a closer look at the uh, parts. Right, the destructions. Uh, what can you say about destructions? Uh, picture of the striker into the third page. Uh, all the sprues, mind you, I think you're going to need a magnifying glass to see the numbers, but they are there. All the sprues set out, well, I ain't going to linger on these instructions, just uh, run through it. Uh, lower hull, uh, transmission boxes, assembly, because there's quite a lot of steps in this. Yeah, steering, because it's four wheel steer on these, isn't it? Uh, so the shock absorbers. Uh, I like trying to do because they just give you a little bit on each picture, uh, so you don't get lost. And it's nice and clear. Right onto the tires, wheels, uh, back drive train. It's all going on here. The uh, rear door, uh, fuel cans, and that going on. Sorry I'm skipping through this, but I mean the destructions are quite boring really. Uh, I've got the upper hull. Uh, loads of bits and pieces going on this. There's quite a lot going on really all the way through it. I don't know what all the bits are, so I can't really tell you what they are. I know they're hatches. And we've got some pioneer tools there. Uh, I don't know what that is. I haven't got a clue. These look like hooks for something or other. We'll find out when we're building it. Uh, what else we got? 
up to step 14. Uh, four signs, yeah. I just don't know. Lights are going on. Uh, storage. Uh, engine covers. Jesus Christ, there is a light in this. Uh, more storage on the back there. Uh, driver's compartment. Jesus, there's a lot going on. Right, uh, that is the just about it finished. Yeah, uh, 20, 25 steps. No, it's not, still not finished. I haven't a clue what these are. We will find out when we start building it. Uh, yes, I'm even more lost now. Uh, I know what these are. Uh, I've seen these before. They drop out every so many uh, meters, don't they? With the, they got red tops on, so uh, other people can follow them, so they know that path's been cleared. I do know that bit. I've seen that bit before. Uh, some sort of grab rails going on here. More covers. The uh, I think it's a 50 cal machine gun, but it's I know this is operated from inside. I do know that much. And I do know as well. You know, to show you that it's got uh, the driver has got a video screen in there for he's got a full view of all around the vehicle, and also the gunner is inside, and the commander. He's got one of these fancy touch screens with, uh, that you can see what the gunner sees and see what the driver sees as well. So it's all pretty good stuff. So the first one here, we've got the SOB, the blade, which I won't be going for. So that will be going into my spare box. And then we go on to the rollers. Mind you, there's a hell of a lot of fiddly parts in the rollers. That's going to be fun. Yeah, I thought I thought a few days uh, build on this, but this looks longer. Quite a lot going on with that. Yes, quite a lot going on, but it looks it looks like it's going to be really smart. Uh, some sort of tape. Yes, I did see that in the box when I bought it out. I suppose that's for making tie downs and things like that. Uh, just showing you that it locates on three points so I suppose you can interchange them not as if you'd want to really because once you put it on you wouldn't want to take it off again would you that goes up to 31 steps uh, then it just shows you how to put the ration boxes together and the completed item which I'm looking forward to this looks Really good, really good. We'll go over to the colour call out. Uh, who are they giving us? Mr. Hobby, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya, and Hobby. Hmm. So I've just gone quiet there. I was uh, uh, just reading. Yes, sorry, that's gonna. This one is. I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it now. So, right, uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'll put you on pause, we'll drop the camera down, and uh, we'll get through these parts as quick as we can. All right, back with some plastic, upper hull, very well detailed, lots, lots, and lots of bits, bolts, and rivets all over the place. Do like it. All going to pick up well when it gets a nice wash and everything else. Hundreds of little holes in it though. If I turn it over and have a look. Uh, this means that there's hundreds of little things to be pushed into them holes. So a lot of parts to go on there. That's the upper hole. Uh, the lower hole, the same. Full of holes. Bits are going to be stuck all over this. Uh, very well made. Good plastic. Uh, detailing, I mean it's even got the side plates and the bolts and everything like that, uh, nicely detailed. Right, that's that bit, that's the hull done, uh, we'll go through the ones that 
there is quite a few of. Uh, this one, I think there's three of them, and these are the rollers and all the bits and pieces for the mine roller at the front. All nice and clean, all nice and sharp, no problems at all of that. And there's actually three three sprues of that. We'll put that away in the box. The next one we've got, uh, there is two sprues of this one. We have the road wheels, suspension bits and pieces. I mean, there's just oodles of stuff on here, and I don't know half of it. I can pick out the, the fuel can. I'm dropping bits on the floor. Fuel can, wheels. Uh, I would say they're the arms for the suspension. All nice and clean, all nice and crisp. No problems at all. Uh, I'll just run through them like that because I don't really know what they all are. There's all parts of the transmission and that. So you get two sprues of that one. You also get two sprues of this one as well. Uh, this is the uh, marker, the little boxes at the back that drop the mark, uh, pegs as they go along as they clear uh, a clear path through the minefield. Uh, a little bit of stowage and the boxes. So there's uh, two of them, I think. Yes, there is two. And moving on quickly, I'll make this video too long. This bit actually came wrapped in uh, bubble wrap uh, to protect them little legs and that sticking out from these parts which was very nice uh, lots of detail no flash nice and clean don't know what the parts are can't point them out but I'll leave it there just for a second if you'd like to pause you can have a look uh, straight on again this is the 50 cal machine gun nicely put together uh, don't know what all the parts are I haven't got a clue but they'll all come to light when I start building it like I say there's no flash all nice and clean so I'm going through these sprues because there's loads of them uh, I think that the, the uh, part part count is 744 parts so there's a lot of parts in this kit uh, covers and yes a lot of suspension bits and pieces uh, there are hatches all nicely done all nice and clean no flash that's what I like to see very little cleanup uh, this brew would be short changed because it looks like they've cut two bits out uh, only giving you what you need. This is the back of the hatches. Uh, I won't be having the hatches open because uh, there's no interior for this, so I won't be having the hatches open. They'll be battened down. I mean, it's not a very good idea to have the hatches open, not when you are uh, rolling mines anyway. Well, definitely wouldn't it? Uh, and we go for another one now. All, like I say, all nice and clean. The detail's nice. You know, every part's got the, the bolts and the nuts on, so you know, I'm happy with this. I think it's going to build up to be a nice looking kit. It really is. On we go. I'll turn it over that way and we'll start at the front. Uh, this is the bit of racking on the side. It was all nicely done. I was saying, for the price, I thought that was flash there for me, but it's not. It's uh, actually what moulding is. So, all nicely done, all nicely moulded. So, I'll just refocus in there now with a little bit of focus. Yeah, no problems at all. And swiftly moving on again. So we're nearly coming to the end of end of it now. Uh, like I say, there's loads of parts here. Uh, hatches. 
it's all got all the bolts and rivets and you've got enough bolts and rivets on the actual hull itself uh, is that the drive track chain or something no, it's not a prop shaft so I don't know what that is I'm grabbing at things in the dark here now lots and lots of parts lots and lots of parts and there's more and there's more uh, this is the blade, the SOB. All nicely done. Yeah, no problems with that. Uh, this will be going into my spare box because uh, I won't be putting the blade on. I will be doing uh, the mine roller. But there again, watch this space. I could be ordering another one just to do the a blade on because that would be pretty cool to have both of them uh, we've been shortchanged again we've got another piece cut out here uh, hatches rear door uh, that's something to do with the driver's part but there's loads and loads of little parts and they're all clean there's no flash on them uh, all nicely done and that's the end, well, take a light, no, because I've already dropped sprues and good knows what else on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we have one small sprue. This is the driver's uh, window and some little bits and pieces. I haven't even bothered taking that out of the bag. Uh, then we've got clear parts. We have in there, we can just see the driver window and side windows and they're clear parts that's it clear parts moving on we also get uh if the camera will do be all right with that yes we're all right uh ration boxes which is quite nice and uh, also we get uh some tape and i think they have to do the stowage on the side if i remember on the instructions which is uh, pretty good. On this one, we actually get the decals or transfer or decals or transfers or stickers, whatever you want to call it. You actually get a little mask, painting mask for the uh, driver's window and side windows, which is pretty cool. I like that. And the sheet of decals, decals. Uh, oh, down there, so I think it's on man, man, fixed focus. Uh, they all look pretty good. A little bit shiny though, but there you go. Bit of matte varnish over the top of it will sort it out. And also, we have a piece of PE. Get that out. Uh, fairly thick. Not too bad uh, for what parts they are I haven't got a clue I couldn't tell you at the moment so that's your PE and not but least we have rubber tires and they actually have got the Michelin on the side and they are like real tires they they're actually got a inside so I'm hoping that we can probably get a little bit of uh, sign of a bit of weight on them but they're, they're quite soft uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet but uh, we will get there so we've got eight of them all nicely done there's no flash on them oh he said that no it's not it's a bit of uh, a bit of fluff yeah so that is the striker which I will be starting now I'm not going to put this stuff back in the box it's going on my bench now and I will start building this so thank you very much for joining me and like I say this was a good value kit for the price I'm well pleased with this one uh, £25 I'm very happy with it so thank you for joining me and we'll see you on the next one